When I put something on my body, I want to make sure that whatever it is, it always makes me look and feel my best. Even though I am tall and I am slim, there are always things that can make me look short and not make me look and feel my best. So that's why I wanted to put together a list of fashion mistakes that I feel can make anyone, regardless of your body type or body shape, look short and frumpy and offer you some tips and tricks on how you can avoid making these fashion mistakes. Before I hop into today's video, I quickly wanted to thank today's sponsor, Omaze, for sponsoring this portion of this video. When Omaze reached out to me, I was so, so excited to collaborate with them because I think they are doing great things and I cannot wait to tell you all about them. Omaze is an online platform that empowers nonprofits to do their world-changing work. Many of these nonprofits are overlooked because the way we think about charity is flawed and their ongoing fundraising needs are often not met. That's where Omaze comes in. Omaze offers once-in-a-lifetime experiences that anyone has a chance to win. Through their platform, they're able to raise up to 40 times what a typical charity auction or gala could in a shorter period of time. The way it works is you can make a contribution to any dream experience of your choice, like the chance to win a celebrity dinner date or tickets to a movie premiere or a dream vacation to Bora Bora. When you make a contribution towards a specific experience, your donation not only helps support a nonprofit to do their work, but it also enters you for the chance to win that once in a lifetime experience. I think that's pretty amazing. And as part of my partnership with Omaze, I got to choose one of their dream experiences to offer to you guys for your chance to win. I decided to go with a luxury seven day vacation to Santorini at the five star Canaves Ia Suites. You'll get your own private pool and a sea view balcony plus $3,000 to help you explore and experience Santorini your way. Santorini has a really special place in my heart because my husband and I went there about five years ago after going through a really difficult time in my life. Being there and experiencing the beautiful views, learning about the history of the island and enjoying the delicious food helped me get back on my feet after a really trying time. I hope that one of you will be able to experience it the same way that I did. Your donations will help support Conservation International, which is a nonprofit working to protect our planet by safeguarding our world's oceans, coastal biodiversity and ecosystems, and ensuring that our planet will be here for us for many, many generations to come. To support Conservation International and for the chance to win a luxury vacation to the beautiful island of Santorini, go to omaze.com slash Nikki. I'll also put the link in my description box below. Okay, so the first fashion mistake that is probably making you look short and frumpy and is something that is often overlooked is having pockets on the back of denim or pants that are too wide set apart. So what this does visually is widen your behind and it makes it look larger and wider than it is, which is great if you are more slim and you are trying to visually make your behind look bigger. But if if that is not something that you are trying to accomplish, try to look for pockets that are set closer together because usually it's going to be a lot more flattering. Another thing that you want to look for when looking for pockets on denim is that the pockets are not too small. If the pockets are disproportionately small in comparison to your body type, it's also visually going to make you look larger than you are. So when looking at denim, you want to make sure that that the pockets on the back take up at least 50% of the surface area and are not too wide set apart and are not too close together either because that's going to flatten your behind and create a really unflattering kind of saggy look which I'm sure most of us do not want. Another fashion mistake that can make you look short and frumpy is wearing clothing that is too boxy or shapeless. I love wearing loose fitting tees or crop tops that are kind of boxy on the top, but the key to preventing these pieces from looking frumpy is by showing some skin or giving that item some shape by cinching it in at the waist. So for example, if 
if you have a boxy crop top that you want to add some shape to and prevent looking frumpy in it, I would suggest pairing it with a high-waisted pair of bottoms that are fitted and form-fitting. That way you can see your body shape and you can clearly see the outline of your silhouette so that you don't get lost in wearing that shapeless item. If you are wearing an oversized loose tee or an oversized loose knit dress, for example, to add some shape to it, I would recommend just cinching it in at the waist with a wide waist belt. One of the mistakes I used to make all the time is not tucking in my shirt into my pants. Now, in all fairness, back in the day, I used to wear a lot of low rise bottoms where it made it very, very difficult to tuck in my tops into my bottoms. But now that I am wearing more mid rise and a lot of high rise bottoms, there's really no reason why I can't tuck in my top into my bottoms to give my body more shape. It always looks a lot more clean and polished when you do a little bit of a tuck. So you can tuck in your shirt completely or you can do kind of like a half French tuck where you have some of the fabric coming out on the sides in the back. I feel like this kind of a tuck looks a lot more effortless and there's always a time and a place for it. But of course, if you tuck your shirt in all sides, it always looks a lot more polished and put together and it's also going to be the most flattering. One of the fashion mistakes that I see all too often that almost always makes anyone look short and frumpy regardless of your body type or body shape is wearing fabrics that are super, super bulky, such as corduroy or velvet or cable knit. These fabrics will always make you look bigger than you are and they are usually really, really difficult to style in such a way that will look flattering. So when looking for fabrics and clothing, you wanna make sure that they're not gonna add extra bulk to your frame. So this next fashion mistake is something that I learned from a very young age. Ever since I could remember, I've always had more muscular, athletic legs. So that meant that there were a lot of shoes out there that I had to be really, really careful with because they would shorten my frame or make my legs look more stompy than they are. And one of those shoes are any types of shoes that have a strap going around the ankle. So what this does is visually cut off your leg at the ankle so that your legs look shorter. So if you want to prevent that, what you want to look for are shoes that don't have an ankle strap. That way your eye visually extends all the way down to your foot. So a tip that you always want to remember when you are dressing yourself and you want to make yourself look taller and leaner is vertical lines. You always want to create a long visual line from head to toe and avoid anything that's going to add width to your frame. And another really common thing that can add width to your frame is wearing horizontal lines. I love a good black and white striped sweater but oftentimes the way that they're designed, it adds width to your frame and it makes it more difficult to style in such a way that will not look frumpy. So if you are a lover of stripes like I am, I would suggest going with a vertical striped pattern because it's going to extend the line up and down and create the illusion of one long line. One of my favorite ways of incorporating vertical lines is in pinstripe blazers or suit pants. And when you compare those together, it's even better in my opinion. I love the look of pinstripe. I know that pinstripe is not for everyone and I was also cautious of this territory myself, but if you'd like to experiment with it, I would recommend getting a really nice pinstripe blazer and see how you feel pairing it with something like a t-shirt and jeans. I'm telling you just this one item alone is going to make you look longer and leaner and it's going to be super, super flattering. 
Another thing that I often avoid because of my more athletic build are knee length dresses and skirts. I feel like knee length dresses and skirts make me look super short and frumpy because they cut my leg off at the most unflattering point. So they make my legs look wider than they are. They make them look shorter than they are. So when I'm looking for dresses or skirts, I look for hemlines that either hit me at around mid thigh or that hit me at the narrowest part of my calf. And for me, for most people, it tends to be slightly above the ankles or slightly below the middle of your calf. Another type of print in addition to horizontal lines that tends to widen your frame and can make you look frumpier than you are are small, tiny prints. I also feel that most small, tiny prints just look really busy and it's not so aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So when I'm looking for printed clothing, I look for a print that's medium to large in size. It really depends on the design of the fabric, but visually what it does when you have a print, for example, a floral print that is kind of medium to large is visually it makes your frame look smaller. It creates the perfect distraction where the focus is not on your problem areas and the print itself provides enough coverage that it can hide any areas that you are insecure about and visually it's going to make you look slimmer. Another fashion mistake that I used to make back in the day is wearing low rise pants and denim. Now, back in the day, in all fairness, it was the cool thing to do, but looking back, I realized that not only was it super unflattering and uncool, but it also shortened my legs and made them look wider than they are. So that's another reason why now I mainly wear mid-rise and high-rise. And honestly, I feel a lot more secure and comfortable in mid-rise and high-rise because if I sit down somewhere, I don't have to have the concern of having everything spilling out or showing. I also feel that mid-rise and high-rise is super flattering on almost all body types and body shapes. So I know that this next fashion mistake can actually look flattering on petite girls, for example, or someone who has very, very skinny ankles and calves. But for someone like me who has more athletic legs, I try to avoid cropped pants as much as possible. Cropped pants are very tricky for me because of my height as well. It's really hard to find a cropped pant that hits me at such a level that looks good. Usually, the hem hits my leg in such an area that it cuts my leg off and makes them look shorter and frumpier. So that's why I try to avoid cropped pants altogether. So if you're like me and you also have athletic legs or more muscular legs or just larger legs in general, avoiding cropped pants and sticking with a hem that hits you around the ankle will probably be the most flattering option for you. So another thing that I try to avoid when it comes to my shoes is wearing shoes that have a high vamp. So for those of you who don't know, a vamp refers to the point at which the top of a shoe kind of stops on your foot. So if it stops higher up on your foot, that is a high vamp. If it stops lower on your foot and exposes more of your foot, that's called a low vamp. So I usually try to look for shoes if it's like a pump or a sandal that has a low vamp because this allows me to show more skin on my foot and visually it makes my legs look longer because it looks like your leg is just going on and on and on. Especially if if that shoe is also in a nude color. It also further extends that line visually and will make you look slimmer and taller than you are. So if you are looking to lengthen the look of your legs, 
look for shoes with a lower vamp. Another fashion mistake that I noticed really cuts my leg off and makes them look shorter is when I wear ankle boots with bare skin. I love ankle boots. Ankle boots are such a staple in my wardrobe in the fall and winter months because I do live in Toronto and it does get really cold here. So they are not only practical, but I find that they look really cool and stylish. So when I want to wear ankle boots, I make sure that I pair them with pants that are long enough to cover the top of my ankle boots as much as possible. When there is a sliver of skin showing, I find that this also tends to shorten the legs. So I will find an ankle boot that is also longer and also make sure that my pants are long enough to cover up the top of the ankle boot. This way you're continuing that visual line up and down and making your legs look longer and leaner. Another thing that I try to avoid on my denim is whiskering. Those horizontal lines that you see on denim that go across the front of the jeans usually, visually it's going to widen you and make your hips look wider. So I try to avoid those at all costs, especially if it's a really light whiskering on a dark denim, it's usually going to be very, very unflattering. Another thing that I would avoid if you are avoiding looking shorter and frumpier is wearing bags that are disproportionately too small in comparison to your body frame. I know that right now small bags are such a huge trend, but they are super unflattering, especially if you are more wide set. So that's why I would recommend looking for a bag that is medium to large in size because visually it's going to look more proportional to you and actually the larger the bag, the smaller you are going to look in comparison. So those are the fashion mistakes that I have personally made and wanted to share with you guys to help you prevent looking shorter and frumpier and hopefully you'll be able to apply these tips and tricks to your own style and it'll make you feel and look your best. I wanted to quickly remind you about my incredible giveaway opportunity with Omaze. Again, everything will be in my description box down below so make sure to check that out. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and as always, I want to thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next one.